Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, use multiple button in ASP.NET Core Razor Pages. Okay. So first of all, add a multiple uh, button control on your form. Uh, so a skill you know, there is the headline of your page and the first button control is input type submit and the value of is java and asp page handler you can add it here you can uh, put any name because that handler is used in your cs file so here we have a java skill okay ASP route ID route count you can say route ASP route session I uh, I count the session okay so ASP route, uh, route session count is 30 for the Java uh, button and similarly you can design for the PHP as well as the C++ okay and you design in C sharp Java just copy and the simple paste change the value as well as the ASP page handler and also ASP route session count oops there is 20 and there is 10 okay and in the ASP page handler that is PHP skills remove replace PHP with the Java and uh, yeah, that's it now in the CS file Similarly, you can add a ASP page handlers that is on on uh, po, uh, on uh, there is the uh, Java skill. Okay, in uh, a ASP page handler on post on post that is the post method actually for the Java skill and in which you can take integer session count. Okay. So uh, that session count actually stored in the view data. So add a message in the view data that is MSG. And in the MSG, I want to uh, show uh, the session counts that is the uh, value of the session count, ASP route session count value. I want to print when we click on the button control. Okay. So your query for the session count is processed okay that is the message and store in the view data message similarly you can copy and paste for the three times uh, on post for the php skill on post for the cpp skills okay the initial uh, internal variable is the same and you can uh, run your application on your browser it's a very quite easy to handle but you notice that uh, in a page view data will not display you know that but the URL show all the data session count is 10 and the handler is CPP skills so you click on the CPP button so that's easy to determine which button is clicked and the view data uh, which information is stored in, in the view data what information is stored in the view data so uh, in the title section you can check uh, remove the title and uh, just write msg and uh, display the value of the view data okay so thank you very much for watching this video and uh, keep watching my all other videos uh, which is related to asp.net core uh, raises pages and that pages is used for the single page handlers Thank you very much and uh, thanks a lot for watching. Now uh, your output is there. Your query for 30 seconds is processed when the Java is clicked because the session value of the Java is 30 and 10 is similar.